once was a 15-year-old girl who wanted very much to be a famous TV star. A big-time producer by the name of Norman Lear discovered this girl and made her wish come true. For years, Americans watched her and thought of her not as Valerie Bertinelli, but as Barbara Cooper, the ideal television daughter. Then one day, something wondrous happened. She grew up. I know when people hear my name, they're thinking, oh no, Barbara Cooper, she's that little girl on TV. And I'm not anymore. This is Valerie Bertinelli today. Secure, successful, and now that she's over 21, we can safely call her sexy. How do you try to be sexy? I don't know, but I, I think it's coming across. I've heard a little sweet talk in French, Dutch, even Latin. But you're the only man I know who speaks dentistry beautifully. <laughs> it's tough growing up on camera. For eight seasons now, Valerie has played the incredibly cute Barbara Cooper on the TV sitcom One Day at a Time. Slowly, we've watched her turn from bubblegum to boys, until finally this season, Barbara Cooper is getting married. That's great. No, I think it was about time. I mean, she's 21 years old and still a virgin. And I think it's time she got married and did something about it. <laughs> child stars growing up means an end to their careers but at 22 Valerie now has more work than ever this is her fourth television movie all my life I have been waiting to fall in love it finally happens and I can't even tell the guy on the set of the TV movie I was a mail order bride Valerie plays an aggressive mature professional woman a role that shows off her new sexier side I think the main reason uh, we went for that was to show people that I'm not 15 anymore. And it was also to probably show a lot of people, in, hopefully in the business, without being too cocky, that I've grown up and I'm not a kid. I don't think this kind of talk is getting us anywhere. Shut, Shut up. up. Look, I'm prepared to write you a check right now, 20 grand. I wanted to do something funny and sexy, and I wanted people to see me in a different light. Here in the Hollywood Hills, Valerie lives a very quiet and traditional life. She's married to a very quiet and traditional guy. The only catch is, is that he's part of a very outrageous but highly successful rock band. His name is Eddie Van Halen. Eddie Van Halen is the lead guitarist for the group Van Halen, a heavy metal band described as either awesome or awful, depending on who you talk to. It's hard, however, to argue with a stack of platinum records, and even the band's critics admit that Eddie is one of the best guitarists in the world. Still, it's difficult to imagine all-American Valerie with all-electric Eddie. So much so that the gossip magazines have bombarded readers with speculation on their marriage, labeling the matchup a case study in incompatibility. Nothing could be further from the truth. I'm so tired of saying I'm fine, my marriage is fine, and I'm happy. I mean, I don't care anymore. They're going to keep writing it. Yeah. They're, they're going to stop picking on me and start picking on Marie Osmond any minute. You know? <laughs> I mean, so it's, it's either me or somebody else. And if other people don't think I'm happy, then that's their problem. <laughs> is that uh, both of us kind of got each other's personalities like uh, I got to be a little crazy and he got to act a little more saner you know it, he felt more comfortable being sane and I felt more comfortable letting go well so there were four years of uh, living in the nearest holiday Inn was my address you know mm -hmm. now I got home you like that sure well, honey when I met you you were living with your parents but this is his own home that's yeah. not true yes it is Okay, so maybe they don't agree on everything, but they do seem to make their marriage work, even while Eddie's on the road. Which is quite a feat, considering we've all heard a rock star's life is groupies, drinking, late hours, and hard drugs. But does it apply to Edward Van Halen? Take a guess. <laughs> no. None of it. Uh -huh. The late hours and drinking, maybe, yeah. But the, the groupies, well, all the other... Well, of course, married. I wouldn't do that. I certainly hope not. Hi, boys. 
We weren't the only ones visiting Valerie and Eddie on this day. Her brothers were in from Shreveport, Louisiana, where her family now lives. When they knew that these guys were my brothers, it was yeah. like, oh yeah, well, you know, they're Valerie Burton and all these brothers. But when I got married to Edward, it was like, guess what? He was Eddie Van Halen! I love home. Yeah. And I love being home. And I love when Edward's home. It's just, there's something about home sweet home that is very special. I mean, you know, I, so it's like I find myself very normal. Valerie Bertinelli is on top of the world. The familiar innocent smile is as irresistible as ever. And it's not an act. She just happens to be famous, married to a rock star, and make a reported $20,000 per episode. Yeah, growing up is tough.